See something, say something. It's the 21st century's golden rule. Because we're told, danger lurks around every corner. Crime. Kidnap immigrants. Vaccines. Terrorism. But in general, doesn't fear at least help to keep us safe? Barry Glasner is a sociologist who wrote a book called The Culture of Fear, Why Americans Are Afraid of the Wrong Things, and hosts a podcast called Fear Not. So after patting him down thoroughly for weapons, I asked him... What's wrong with being afraid of things? Uh, it's not good for your health, it's not good for the world, it's not good for your country. It's uh, bad in every possible way, almost. Give me a list of a few things that we're afraid of that we shouldn't be afraid of. Terrorism in the U.S.? Right, but what do you mean? Is that, it, we, see, we, we saw it happen, 9-11, we saw You're it. You're much more likely to get killed or hurt in all kinds of other ways. You should be more afraid of uh, your slippery bathtub. <laughs> rickety furniture in your house. That's what you might. They're much more likely to kill you. So, uh, is the furniture being put together by Muslim fundamentalists? <laughs> the f***ing Swedes have been trying to get us. It's like here, isn't it? Turns out Barry's right. There's loads of things the US should fear more than terrorism. Lawnmowers mow down way more Americans each year than Islam. Driving bicycles. Getting struck by lightning sharks. Joking. The flu. But if logic tells us we should be less worried about ISIS and shoe bombers, why do we hear so much about them? I mean, the reason is because there are all sorts of people making a lot of careers off of this. Cable TV news, social media. And the crazy thing about this is, uh, this is about the safest time and the safest place in the world in the US right now. What else should we not be afraid of? We should uh, not be afraid of almost anything that Donald Trump tells us to be afraid of. But do you think he believes any of the things that he says? I know one thing he certainly believes. It'll get him votes. Donald Trump's formula is this, right? right. Get you afraid of something. American carnage. They're rapists. And say that he can fix it. This is so easy. We're going to fix it. And oftentimes it only he can fix it. I alone can fix it. That's a great thing to do when crime rates are going down. Right. Because guess what? You can say you fixed it. Now, sure, it's easy to call Trump out, but he didn't invent all this, and it's a vicious cycle with each side feeding off each other. What's a more Democrat sort of fear-mongering thing? They try to get you to write checks by sending you these scary pictures of Donald Trump. <laughs> That's fear-mongering. I feel like they left fear-monger a lot more with the foods. They, they get whole foods on you. There's tons of fear-mongering about food from the left and from liberals, absolutely. Some trans fats coming to get you? So politicians do it for power, the media does it for ratings, and then there are the people doing it purely for money. The security industry, which is huge, is constantly coming up with new products. Now you can monitor your home, watch your kids from every angle on your watch. What that does is make you more fearful. Yeah, no, and, and then when they get to 18, you don't want to see your daughter being fingered on the couch or anything. <laughs> well, maybe you do. <laughs> we don't know each other that well. Um... And fingering may not even be the worst of it. In fact, when this fear thing really takes hold, it can have some pretty dire consequences. Can you die from fear? Oh, yeah. Vaccine scares. Great example. Mm. People stop vaccinating kids and people die, yeah. You're so obsessed with the thing you're fearful about that you're not paying attention the way you should be. What, what's the easy fix? What do we do? I mean, you have to learn who's selling you the fears, mm. who, why are they doing it, what are they getting out of it, and once you recognize those, you can tune it out. Right now, at the start of the presidential election, there's probably nothing more important than learning to be skeptical of anyone who stands to gain from making us all scared shitless. But since Barry here is the expert, I need him to rule on a few things once and for all. Okay, I'm gonna rattle off some things. You tell me if I should be fearful of these groups. Mexicans? No. Mexicans storming the border, Mexicans. <laughs> no. New Zealanders? No. Canadians? They can be. Yeah, they can be. Can be sneaky little dopey bunch, aren't they? Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that when I started my day. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. 